Hello everybody, this is Dudical with Man Up Mate, where three stars win wars and egos lose wars. This is our debut attempt at a YouTube video showing a recap of our war against Funk Dubious. Uncle ZA recorded some of his favorite videos, sent me the file, and I am going to do my darndest to uh, give a voiceover that will give an idea of what's going on. Our first attack here is going to be Rob from Man Up Mate attacking Stud7 on Funk Dubious. And here it goes. So before I start this, you can see his composition here. It's a little bit of a different version of a go wipe. The two things I want to point out is normally when you do a go wipe, you've got golems as your tank. That's a troop that's going to absorb a lot of damage, uh, which you run in front of your high DPS troops that cannot take a lot of damage, things like wizards. Um, in his case, he used the Golem and a number of Valkyries, as well as the Pekkas, um, which are his tanks. Pekkas and Valkyries also doing a fair amount of damage as well. Um, and then the wizards and archers as his cleanup crew, of course, followed by his uh, heroes. Not a whole lot else to say about this. Let's just watch it and see how it unfolds. One key thing to notice is that he spread out the archers and the wizards here. Very important to take out these side buildings so that your main troops are going to go to the core. If you drop all those archers and wizards right here in the middle, then once these middle buildings are out, they're going to start moving sideways and none of your troops are going to go to the core. Uncle recorded all these at double speed as well, so it does move pretty quickly. But you can see once you go in here, get to the core, drop that rage and heal, keep these guys alive until they tear out all of these central defenses, you're pretty much golden. One thing that could have been really fun on this battle, I'm not criticizing in any way, is use of back-end loons. Once these guys tore out those uh, air defenses in the middle, you drop a few loons in to take out these outer defenses. It's pretty fun to see as well. Anyway, Rob cleaned up nicely, got us the three stars, and put us back on the road to victory from what looked like a clear defeat at the time. And there we go. Our next attack here is going to be Vinyak Goal against Ig E5 from Funk Dubious. Let me pause this for one second here. He's going with the hog attack, a slightly different composition from what people will often use. He has a Town Hall 9 here attacking a Town Hall 8. I usually like to go in with at least 30 hogs and a little bit fewer cleanup troops. He's got a lot of other high damage troops, his heroes here that he can bring in as well, and a rage to throw into the mix of the standard three heals that you would use at a Town Hall 8 level uh, hog attack. So he cleans up nicely. So first you get the CC lure, bringing them off to a corner which is poorly protected. You can see there's no mortars here, no other uh, defenses that are going to kill your troops as they try and take out the um, clan castle. Now he brings in his barb as a tank and I guess to clean up the rest of the clan castle as well. I'm not super happy about this, how he keeps dropping his cleanup crew in front of the weapons before uh, releasing his hogs. First heal goes down here, second heal, third heal, and the cleanup crew comes in behind. Super important to bring your cleanup crew in behind your hogs. In an ideal world, if you kill the CC in this corner, drop your hogs in this corner as well in front of your kill squad, they'll take out all of those defenses and the kill, quad, kill squad can stay alive and become part of your cleanup crew as well. Otherwise, hard to criticize this, he was pretty uh, overpowered compared to this Town Hall 8 base, uh, and he got the job done, especially bringing those heroes to help with the cleanup. Next attack here, Fire Troll, one of our high-level uh, Lava Lunion heroes coming in. Uh, first thing he does, take out that Archer Queen and get the Clan Castle Lure. Lava Hounds come in. The Lava Hounds are your tank in this attack. They come into the front uh, to do a couple of things. First, they absorb all of the damage from the Teslas and more specifically the 
air defenses. And the second thing they do is that they pull out some of the uh, anti-air traps as well. So in this case, essentially, the hounds act as your tanks and the balloons coming in behind them act as the high DPS troop. Brought a few back end loons in towards the back, which was a great move. If you drop those loons back here now, they'd have to go across the entire base to get to these defenses. And now it's just cleanup time. So this was a lava loon attack, not a lava loon yun. He didn't bring the minions in, which often you will do as well. Next up, we have David coming in with a dragon attack, a drag loon here. I'm going to pause for one second, look at his army composition. He came in with eight dragons, eight loons, and I believe he's got five loons in the clan castle as well. This is sometimes called an 813 dragoon with uh, eight dragons and 13 uh, balloons. Um, 813 is often used if the air defenses are more widely spread out. Um, and you bring some of the loons in on the back end to take out one of the air defenses while the dragons take out two. Um, you can also do that with lightning. Lightning takes out one, dragons take out the second, and the uh, balloons take out the third. That would be something you'd use if the air defenses were much more spread out, though. Here he goes with a standard two rage, one heal is what you'll often use when the air defenses are more tightly clustered. Your goal is to kill those air defenses as quickly as possible. He starts in these two corners, which makes me think that there's going to be a funnel coming along this direction from the northwest. One other quick point here. You will notice this dragon hangs out and follows the uh, Barbarian King. The dragon AI will go to the nearest uh, structure that's available, but clan castle troops and heroes will trump that. So if there's a hero and a defense right together, they will go for the hero before they will go for the defense if they're both in range. So just remember that the heroes can really pull your dragon attacks off. In this case, he does a pretty long wait now. You've got this air defense firing on these guys, drops the dragons in the middle. Now that he's got the two sides cleared, everything is going to come in through here. Has the rage, which hits the remainder of his dragons and the balloons as well. Got rage balloons coming in here, tearing through the air defenses. Once the air defenses are down, if you've still got four or five dragons left, you're almost guaranteed to get a three star at that point. So at this point, it's just cleanup time. You notice he didn't bring a hero here. Um, if you did have a hero, one option would be to drop the Barbarian King over here uh, right before the dragons got near that Tesla. That way he would tank the Tesla, draw the fire. Tesla would attack the Barbarian King so that the uh, dragons would get a chance to take out the Tesla without risk of them being shot. And now it's just cleanup time. So fantastic attack by David. If I were to change anything, I may have uh, gone a little bit sooner with these central troops once those air defenses started firing. Uh, on his dragons over here, but otherwise looked great. Now we have Omar, who is no longer with our clan, attacking uh, JMD. As you can see here, he is using a Go Wee Wee, that is Golems, Wizards, and Witches, um, against a Town Hall 9 level base. Again, tanks, followed by your high DPS troops, uh, which can't take the damage. So the goal is really to get those Golems sucking up all the damage, get the Witches in behind them quickly, and the wall breakers to make a path to the core. Go Wee Wee, primarily a uh, Town Hall 9 plus attack. If you get witches in your clan castle, you can do it at Town Hall 8. Um, but you need to pick a really good base for it if you're going to do this as a Town Hall 8. Go Wipe and Go Wee Wee at Town Hall 8 are often two star strategies rather than three star strategies, just because you don't have enough troops to uh, suck up all of the damage that a uh, strong Town Hall 8 is going to do. Not a lot else to say here. You can see that all of the fire is being directed towards the middle while his cleanup crew is going around the outside here, being relatively well protected. Golems are still sucking up damage here. His queen pretty much stayed behind those guys, so it didn't take a whole lot of damage, and she was able to last. 
One trick with the king and the queen, again, that idea of tanks and high DPS, drop the king, drop the queen right behind her. He will suck up the damage. He's got a lot more hit points than she does. She will fire and uh, cause damage standing safely behind the king. And I believe that is it for this replay. Again, uh, pretty heroic war here, which we came back from over 20-point deficit and won by four. Congratulations, guys.